Hey, you gorgeous one. Here we are for the first in a series of video blogs that I am going to be doing on my journey of publishing my first book. <laughs> Something I thought I would never be saying is that I am going to be writing a book. And I was pleasantly surprised today because I've been writing over the last four weeks, quite enjoying the process, and I counted up my words and I had, I think it was like nine, 9,000, I don't know, 9,060 words, which sort of took me by surprise a little bit. I was surprised how much I got into the writing process itself but I suspect you know average business book is 50 to 60 thousand words I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have a few too many words and I'm going to have to strip a lot out but this is a new journey for me so why a book what inspired me to sit down and finally write a book but to be honest it's taken me a long time to bring my personal history, my personal story to set the scene in the context of business, in business growth and personal development. I couldn't find the hook. It's taken me this long to find the hook so I can present it in a way that has contents, context, it makes sense. It's not just a biography of me and my story. It's set in the context of being able to help people. So I have decided at the moment that it's going to be called Be More Wolf and I'll go into a little bit further on later on why I've called it um, Be More Be More Wolf. So the book is called At The Moment, it may change but this is what sits close to me, this is what I keep coming back to so at the moment it's I'm sticking with it. It's called Be More Wolf, and it's to help women to get out of their way. It is focused in on conscious coaching, which is a strategy that I teach my clients. And it is to empower women to thrive regardless of circumstances, to own their divine feminine essence, and to connect with their vulnerability and personal power, strength and to lead unapologetically, how can I can say that word, Unapolo to lead unapologetically. So it is really about working from the inside out. It's designed to help women who are stuck in business, in life you know they're experiencing groundhog day and they want to they're just not where they want to be but they can't put their finger on whatever it is that's stopping them from moving forward so why why now well to be honest the pandemic really showed me that i have a tremendous amount of resilience i have incredible bounce back ability which means that I can get knocked down quite harshly and I can get back up quite quickly and with the pandemic seeing so many women struggle and get consumed by overwhelm stress worry anxiety not necessarily having the skills the resilience to be able to bounce back and to really make decisions for themselves so I've seen a lot of people really struggling and you know it's just been a crazy crazy time I've seen a lot of people struggling and just thought actually I can really help people step up and get out of their own way because these are skills that can absolutely be taught so pandemic sparked it really and from the pandemic I created I put all my knowledge, all my expertise into a conscious coaching toolbox, which I take my clients through, which takes them step by step, how to identify, how to release, and to find a new way forward. So they can basically get out of their own way. So this is how it all came 
came about. It's really to help women navigate where they're running on autopilot. We all run on autopilot. Our, you know, our, our brain is like a computer. 95% of what we do is subconscious. So it's about finding out what those patterns are and changing the beliefs around those patterns that just need updating. Just think of it like a computer. Working with me is like having a serious re reboot, upgrade. <laughs> now, so, you know, um, I discovered on my own personal journey that I was sophisticatedly hiding behind other people. I, even though I have a high level of visibility, I was still hiding behind other people and I wasn't sharing my story. So after discovering that and changing the beliefs, identifying what was going on, what was playing out for me, I thought, actually, I want to reach more people with my message. I want to share my personal story, which I haven't really done before. And I want to reach 10,000 women a month globally with some level of impact. Now, to do that, I was thinking, what's the best way to do that? What would be a really great way to get the message out there and reach as many women as possible. And a book is the perfect, one of the perfect ways to do that. So the book, <laughs> Be More Wolf. <laughs> so I realized that I had been hiding. And as I said, the book is primarily about becoming an unapologetic, female leader. Now that doesn't matter whether that is in business, whether it is life, whether it is with your family, whether it is with your friends. It is really about connecting to that inner wisdom, finding and connecting with that inner wisdom within you to lead unapologetically because this is a time now where we really need people to get out of their own BS, to get out of their own way and to stand strong more authentically. And to do that from a place of being consciously aware and not asleep. So if you think, as I said, 95% of us are running on autopilot. It's so we wake up, so we're consciously aware of the decisions it is that we're making and the impact it is that we are having on other people and the world. So this is all about being conscious, becoming more conscious of the decisions we make and what it is that we are doing, our role in the world. I know resilience can absolutely be taught. And I also know that getting out of your own way, playing a much bigger game, leading unapologetically can also be taught as well. Making better decisions, faster, smarter, can also be taught. It's regardless of circumstances, it's regardless of what your personal history is. These are skills that can be taught. And of course, I know exactly how to teach them because I have created my Conscious Coaching Toolbox, which takes people on a very clear journey to help them get out of their way and play a bigger game. You know, I did an article um, yesterday, which was about sometimes it takes longer to change that limiting belief, change that way of thinking, change that pattern of behavior, because we have to clear a lot of things out of the way first. So <laughs> in a nutshell, <laughs> that's what the book is about. That's what it is focused in on. So I was quite gobsmacked when I realized that I had done, I had written about 10,000 words this morning. And that is because my foundational piece is already created. I have the Conscious Coaching Toolbox, which is the foundational piece of the book because that the key cornerstones within that process show you how to, what you're struggling with, how to clear it, how to acknowledge it, how to move forward, how to navigate around it, under it, over it, whatever way it is that you need to go. But to be able to find out in the subconscious what's actually 
holding you back. It brings it into the conscious and then you can clear it and then you can find a new way forward. Then you are in a much stronger position to lead authentically, to lead charismatically, to be really connected to who you are. Not all this other shit and all this other crap that people think you should be from those personal experiences over the years. Oh, I'm getting a bit woo-woo. <laughs> so, okay, my, so this, I've given myself um, 10 months. I want to release it in December of this year, 2021. So how I've started is I have, even though I'm talking, I've talk, spoke about numbers in terms of 50, 60,000 is the ideal size of a business book. I'm writing the book more from the position of um, experiences, personal stories. I'm not writing it by, okay, I need to get 10,000 pages done in January. It's, it's not how I'm writing it. I'm writing it around um, personal emotional experiences combined with the cornerstones it is that I already have in place that I already teach that I take my clients through just going through those to make sure it's compatible for a book so I have mapped out lots and lots of different um, subheadings in relation to being more wolf in relation to leading more authentically to making better decision what are all of the steps that are in that process to go from the unknown the unconscious to finding out what's really going on digging deeper and then to actually taking that inspired action to get out of your own way so you can lead more authentically so i have got all the stepping stones down, all the little pieces that come together under different headings. So first part is going to be about my story. Then we are going to have the toolbox, the four different key cornerstones. And then I'm going to go into, or I might do this the other way around. I'm going to go into some of the methodology around explaining why these elements are so important. So as you can see, some of it is still in my head, but the map is there. The good thing about being dyslexic is, is you have this natural tendency as it being a gift to, well, for me anyway, is that I can, it's very easy for me to break things down into very small steps. So one goes on top of the next, on top of the next, on top of the next. So that's the first thing I've done is I've mapped everything out. So within the, the four key cornerstones it is that I've created. What I've done is I've used a tool called Rev and I've taken all of my videos and I've uploaded them to Rev. And then that has, what's the word? Transcribed, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I've transcribed all of those videos which I've been through um, today and rewritten so that's giving me some more information that I can pull from and then pull into the book. So that's what I have done initially. And I've thought about, okay, what do, what do I need? I need an editor. So I need to find out, you know, who's gonna edit the book. I'm not so much worried about that right now. I'm more concerned about actually getting the content together, getting the stepping stones together, getting those in order because finding an editor, I think, is going to be relatively easy. It's just a case of asking a lot of friends who've already written books who they would recommend and then having conversations and making the decision. Also, the publishing, I need to make a decision around. But initially, what I've done is looked at the full cornerstones. I've done a full audit of all the material it is that, that I have. Audit how many months I want to have completed the book by, things that I'm going to need to do along the way, 
I've made a note of everything that I've had transcribed, everything it is that I have rewritten, how many words are in those different pieces, those different files, those different pieces of information. So I've done 10,000 words in January. And I'm a bit like, oh my God, I'm gonna have too many words. But then you also get a bit flustered because you're sort of thinking, oh God, how am I gonna knit this all together? And also there's that, um, and it is just a fear. It's how am I explaining what's in my head so people can understand the flow, the process. And in some respects, the conscious coaching toolbox, because I'm working with clients through that process, it's making sure that they understand. If they understand and I can find out where the sticking points are and make sure that I'm delivering it in a way that people can understand, that sort of knock that, that fear doesn't really exist anymore. So that's that one gone. I think I can clear fears quite quite quickly now which is great <laughs> so one of the other things I have noted down is about quality assurance because that's important to me because I want to make sure that if people are investing in a book that they want to be a, that they're going to be able to use it that, that it's really important to me that people who are buying it who are using it are going to get results from it results are part of my DNA very very important to me so one of the quality assurance things I was thinking of doing was doing a chapter and then in getting someone to go through it and making sure that they understand. So it's almost like an individual chapter. You don't have to have one chapter, all of the chapters. This is what I'm trying to say. You don't have to have all of the chapters to make sense of one chapter. So each chapter can stand alone in its, its own right. Because this is a book around personal development and taking yourself on a journey, we all know that that can sometimes take longer than we think. So if people have a chapter and they can work on that chapter and then when they're ready, they can do the next chapter. It's important, I think, that each chapter is like a mini book in its own, in its own right. So I'm thinking of getting people to quality check a chapter at a time. I think the biggest thing for me is the is the marketing and I, I think this is the same in any business is that it's very easy to okay it's not very easy to create a book it's a hell of a commitment it's a real yeah it's a massive commitment but it's very easy to it's it's easy to write courses, to write programs, to bring them together. Uh, to me, the hard part is always about the marketing. It's always about, okay, I've created this now. How am I going to get it out to my audience? How am I going to entice people in? The last thing I want to do is to write the book and not have an audience. So in my ultimate wisdom, I thought I would do these um, video blogs so that people could get a sense of um, the process. So they can get bonuses, extra insight, more content, you know, join me on the journey because a lot of the information is gonna be taken out. This is an opportunity to get sort of bonus training along the way, bonus insight. So that do this bring it together <laughs> to bring it together sorry I just cut off my own video then and to bring it together this way so hang on a second So I'm in my favourite place in Cochang. This is a place called uh, Cliff Cottage. It's a cat cafe, cat rescue cafe. Yeah, so this is my initial book. Now, this is what I have a tendency to do because I'm a bit of a manic 
writer. I write everything in this big book that I sort of um, want to share in the book. So this, so this is an article. This is an article, oh, it's a bit bright, that I've just um, written during the week, which is about how to quickly fill your cup back up when you get triggered. So big ideas, blog posts go into the big book. And then I have this other book where this is sort of my, this is my planning book, basically, the things it is that I need to um, action and get, get stuck into. So I've got a list of things that I need to do for the first, to ensure that I've done in the for, first month. So, you know, some of these are really, really obvious. So this is working around the, so my first piece of work is working around those four key cornerstones. So an intro for each cornerstone, transcribe the videos done, wanna find four case studies, examples of what women struggle with self-coaching mentoring so find out about an editor create a lead magnet which i've already done video blog which i'm going to be doing every sunday so that's what i've got to get covered in the first month not much not much <laughs> then i have got my quality assurance bit here in terms of what i want people to do with uh, the different chapters the marketing I'm going to do all along the way over the uh, over the 10 months. And then here I've just got. Um, gosh, it's so bright. The sun's so bright it, here. What I've done is I've just written down everything that I've written so far with its headings. And then the word count from each different element. Well, so I've, got, I've got something else in here. What else do I have in here? Oh yeah, the um, additional bits I want to research on just to make sure that what I'm writing about is based in theory. Um, yeah, so to find out, to get evidence to support my own theories, which is very handy. So that's how I've started, yeah. That's quite exciting, actually. The nice thing about writing a book as well is it takes your expertise down another layer, down another tier. You have to really get under the skin of your expertise to be able to write about it in it this way. But what I would say is that the, the four cornerstones are really what we call in business your business signature, your business DNA. Once you have a framework established, something that you want to be known for, this is where your credibility and your expertise lies, it's then very easy to write a book, write a course, do a retreat, run the webinars, because everything is coming from those, what it is that you want to be known for. So for me, it's the conscious coaching toolbox. That's now become a book. I now rec rec um, run a course from it and I'm just about to launch VIP days from it as well. So once you have the foundation in your business, we call this a signature system. This is something else I work with my clients through. It's once you've got that in place, you can then mold it lots and lots of different ways because the content is already, it's already produced so let me know if you have any questions hello beautiful oh come and say hello come and get a cuddle come and get a cuddle come on then the oh trailer four yeah let me know if you have any questions what questions do you have any questions about write it the experience of writing a book any questions about creating your own signature system for your business any questions around the conscious coaching toolbox just pop them down below as i'm writing it what i've decided to do is for anybody who signs up to follow my journey you will get a free copy of 
the book. So at the moment, as I said, it's called Be More Wolf. And I will be asking my audience if that is really the right title I need to be running with, but that's what I've called it so far. So I'm gonna pop the link below. You'll be able to get hold of the book that way. And you'll also be able to watch my weekly video blogs, which are gonna take you on the journey each step of the way. So until next week, beautiful, have an absolutely awesome week. And I look forward to updating you with different insights next week. I really just wanted to set the scene, set the context in terms of what the book is about.